what kind of superhero would I want to play? Maybe, maybe Spider-Man in like 10 years time. Get maybe. Ready. Fans, we are here with Tom Holland who plays Peter Parker. This is one of the biggest Spider-Man films ever made. I honestly cannot even begin to explain to you how happy I am and how excited I am. If you had told me 10 years ago that you'll be playing Spider-Man in a movie like this, I would have been like, you're a liar. <laughs> I've been a huge fan of these movies since I was a kid. I remember seeing Toby's movies. I remember seeing Andrew's movies. I love performing. Like, I think being on stage is really like where I belong. I think that's my calling in life is being on stage. I love myself, you know, in, in a good way, you know, not in a way like, oh, I'm so fucking handsome. Right, right, like, right, right. I, right. Just, I just really enjoy my life. I'm just so happy in my own skin, and, and, and I think I'm very lucky to be that way, you know? I think for me, Instagram is the most important thing to, like, keep control over, because it's quite easy for Instagram to be a very fake version of your life. I'd like to try and keep my Instagram lively and let people know that I'm a bit of an idiot and a goofball and stuff, just because I don't want to have an Instagram that's just like, ooh, look at me. Right. Know? I think that is a testament to my parents and how they brought me up, you know? Like, I meet a lot of kids now who are obviously very shy, and I get that, you know, because they're meeting, like, meeting Spider-Man, but when I was a kid, my parents would force me to speak to adults. Like, it, I hated it, I absolutely hated it, but they were like, come and have a conversation, look them in the eye, shake their hand, like, it was all about trying to connect with people, and I think I've always been very good at that, and tried, I try and stay away from my phone, even though it's impossible to do that. Sure. Um, but I think my parents did a great job with helping me connect with people, especially older people, because I've spent my whole career working with adults. Right. So from a very young age, when I finished Billy Elliot, all of my friends were like 30 years old and I was like 12. <laughs> like, do you want to go for a pint? I'm like, I'm six years too young, bro. <laughs> my big thing about actors is you can't take yourself seriously. If I pretended to be serious, that would be so stupid. Like I dress up in red and blue tights every day mm -hmm. and pretend to be a superhero. Like that's the most stupid thing I've ever heard. So <laughs> if I took myself seriously, you just kind of lose perspective of what it is that you're doing and stuff and, and it, it, it's my that's my pet hate about acting is how people can take it and we're so revered and so talented like I just I think there isn't enough credit that goes to people like surgeons and engineers and architects and people who have like a real skill right and can do amazing things he's just so sweet and humble and he's kind of remained that way I mean he's he's a man now but he's just also just a really decent human being yeah Let's talk about Spider-Man. So, were you a fan growing up? Huge fan. A yeah. huge, huge fan, yeah. And how did you find out you got this role? That's a, a huge thing to get this role. I basically had been auditioning for about five months. And after my final audition, they said, you'll find out tomorrow. Fast forward six weeks, I was still waiting, still waiting. And one day, Marvel just posted on their Instagram, go to our website to find out who the new Spider-Man is. And that's it. I just found out online. It didn't, they didn't call me up or anything. So I ran downstairs. I was going ballistic. My poor dog, Tessa, was terrified. Um, and my brother, Harry, who's pretty savvy with technology and stuff, was like, dude, they've probably been hacked, bro. Like, they would call you, right? They would let you know. And um, so I called my agents. They were like, oh, this is amazing. And then Kevin Feige finally rang me and said, I've got some great news. You're going to be Spider-Man. I was like, I know, Kevin. You put it on <laughs> yeah. Instagram. Please. 